In this video, I'm gonna show you what I think should be in a basic uh, four x four off-road recovery kit. My buddy, he's turning 40 years old, so me and a couple friends, we got together, pitched in and got him a recovery kit. And so we're gonna go through that. I'm gonna show you uh, what I think should be in there. The very first piece that I got him was a jump starter. Now I know this is may not, this might not fit directly into like four by four recovery, but he does go camping for long periods of time. And uh, yeah, you never know when you're gonna wake up to a dead battery if you left something on. So it's important to have this. And you know, not just for cars, you can of course charge your phone, your computer, um, super handy to have. Now, uh, I got this at Costco. It's a brand I'd never heard of amazing the model number is im29 so i can't really speak to this one directly what i do have experience with and what um lots of people in the 4x4 community and mechanics that i know and trust what they use are the noco brand ones the boost um line and so i'll link to those below this one i just got because i happen to be at costco and this is what they're carrying and costco usually carries um good stuff so this is what we got im29 Next up, we have a proper snatch strap. Uh, he just has, I think he sometimes takes like a piece of chain or a toe strap with him, and this is gonna be way better. A proper snatch strap that will stretch so that during a kinetic recovery where one vehicle gets a running start to help pull out the stuck vehicle, you want a strap that will stretch. So it says here, designed to stretch under load. Enables smooth and progressive recovery when a second vehicle is present. Um, it not only takes that instant shock force off both vehicles, but it actually acts like a rubber band and helps um, pull the vehicle out better than just a toe strap would. So, super good piece of equipment here. Now, you got to have something to connect that snatch strap to. So on his vehicle, he doesn't have like dedicated recovery points, but on his chassis, there is a built-in two inch uh, receiver. So this is the, um, a bunch of different companies make something like this. This is one is by Nylite, and it is a two inch um, hitch. That's a recovery point to go into your tow receiver. And then you've got your D-ring there. And this one of course has the little rubber isolators so that if you keep this on 24 seven, which I'm not really a fan of, I think it looks kind of whatever, but um, it won't scratch up your paint. Um, but yeah, you've got a working uh, a D shackle that's rated. It'll have the working load limit stamped on there. And then the thing that I like about this kit is that like I have a Smitty built one for my vehicle, which is fine. But the thing I liked about this one a lot is you can attach it in any direction. So you see you've got the holes going in horizontally, you can run it like that. But then if you like have to do like an angled pull and it works better with the D-ring being vertical, you could install it like this. So that's cool. And then you've got the hitch pin to go through and lock it to your vehicle. Next, we have an extra hitch pin um, because if you need to recover another vehicle and they don't have a place to recover from, if they have at least a regular two inch um, receiver, then you can run the other end of your strap into their receiver, uh, just like basically, just like run your snatch strap into there and around the pin, and that'll be a good spot to recover from. Along those same lines, another um, bow shackle or D-ring, whatever you want to call it, because, you know, we've got one side of the equation taken care of, but now we need the other side taken care of. Next, we have two quarter inch soft shackles. And of course, I'll put links to all this stuff in the description down below. Um, but the reason why I have these two smaller soft shackles is because um, sometimes you come across like a Honda Civic or just some car that's stuck in a snowbank. And I know he's pulled out a lot of people uh, that have been stuck in the snow before. And like I said, he doesn't have a great setup. He's just got like a toe strap and he's still getting it done. But you come up to like a vehicle like a Honda Fit or something and it doesn't have rated recovery points and but it might have some small tie downs or you might have to go around like a control arm or something and these soft shackles are great for when a car has like just a really tiny toe loop and it won't uh, there's no way that like a full size bow shackle is going to fit through that loop well that's where the soft shackles can come in handy um and you know, 
I wouldn't give it like full on the full beans with that strap and just one of these. You're liable to like break something on the car. But for just a nice gradual recovery, you're pulling out just a, like a two wheel drive car that's just needs a little bit of traction, you can hook up with these. And the reason that I have two is because preferably what I like to do is use a bridle. Take another strap and if you can get two of these on the vehicle, like on two on the front end or two on the back, you can connect them to each other with a short strap and then you hook your uh, main strap to this and so you're pulling kind of like this so that you're sharing the load and putting less stress on each of the two points. And so this right here, this is not snatch rated, this is just a six foot um, toe strap and it's meant to be a, a winch strap like a tree strap um, but it's just like a two inch thick piece of toe strap that can be used as a bridle and of course in a pinch it could be used to extend the length of the 30 foot toe strap if you needed to you couldn't like I said I wouldn't snatch with it but if you just wanted to do a um, a gradual recovery like just pulling as opposed to snatching it'd be fine for that too Next, we just have a pair of gloves. Nice to have a pair of gloves when you're hooking stuff up. Then, of course, we've got to have a bag to put all this stuff in. So I just went to Home Depot and I grabbed this Husky 18-inch uh, tool bag. I know there's an 18-inch tool bag at Harbor Freight, too. That's a few bucks less. But this holds everything that we've seen. It's got some internal pockets, which is great for putting, like, the snatch, the, the soft shackles and the bow shackle. And then, of course, he's turning 40, so a little uh, gag gift here for him. Uh, could have also gone with some adult diapers, but went with the Preparation H instead. Now, all that equipment is great, but it doesn't, none of that allows you to self recover. So, I wanted to give him something that if he was in a jam and he needed to pull himself out, he would have that as well. So, what we have here, we have two uh, traction boards. These are the Bunker Industries traction boards. And so, they're, um, from what I can tell by reading reviews, they're like the finest, cheapest traction boards. They're not Max Trax, they're not ARB Treads, but they are like a quarter of the price. And it's better than nothing. So, traction boards, um, these ones I like because, first of all, they have great reviews. And then, you've got this space here where a jack will fit on so if you have a bottle jack or a high lift he's got a bottle jack in his vehicle you can use this as a solid base so that your jack won't be sinking into like the mud or the snow when you're trying to raise up your vehicle if you have to like change a tire or whatever um i also like that they come with these uh tethers because sometimes when you use these in like deep sand or mud or snow as your vehicle drives away, the traction boards get like shoved down into the earth and then it's hard to get them out. So you can pull them out with those leashes. And then they also come with a carrying case. So, you know, when they get all muddy and snowy, if you don't have a place, which he doesn't, to store them on the outside of the vehicle, you can just put them back in the vehicle. And as a bonus, uh, he doesn't have a Montero, but as a bonus, they fit perfectly in between like you can see in the case and everything they store completely up against the uh second row seat like they fit in between the wheel wells perfectly even in the case so it's like perfectly sized for a gen 3 montero so that i'm a big fan of i'm not necessarily officially like recommending these particular traction boards but i just think it's good that you have something that you can self recover with or at least give that a try now I am currently testing these and putting them through their paces. And if they do well, then we will start carrying these at Luso Overland. But for right now, they're just we're just testing them out. So I can't endorse them or recommend them or anything like that at this point. So what do you guys think about this uh, basic recovery kit that we put together? Let me know what I'm missing, what you would have in yours. Of course, there are a million other things that you could add to a recovery kit. As you can see in my vehicle, you know, I've got first aid and fire extinguishers and straps and a hatchet, a bunch of other stuff. But I'm talking about just for like recovery, not necessarily first aid, um, not necessarily camping. You know, the only other thing that I feel like is really important for every vehicle that goes off road to have is a shovel. Now, I'm not going to give him a shovel. He has shovels and, um, you know, that's something else that's kind of harder to store in the vehicle. And you have to kind of think about where you're going to put like a dirty shovel and all that. But just to show you my favorite shovel of all time, you know, 
nothing, I don't even know what brand this is, but the key point is that it's about a 39 inch shovel. So like around three feet. I find that you get a full size head on the shovel, but a much shorter handle. It's like the perfect length for camping, for everything. You can do all the work of like a six foot shovel or whatever, but way smaller to get into like nooks and crannies if you have to dig underneath a vehicle. So this is my favorite length shovel that I try to take on most of my trips, but all the time in the car, I also have this much smaller shovel. This one's 24 inches and they're super cheap. They're like $15 at Home Depot. It's made by a company called Anvil. I once had to dig this Gen 3 Montero out of three feet of snow with just this shovel. It took three hours. I can't stress the importance of a shovel. And of course, he doesn't have a winch on his vehicle. If he did, that would open up a whole nother world of recovery gear that you may want to pair in this kit uh, that centers around a winch recovery. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, what you would have in yours. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.